This is an introduction to the next fundamental and technical analysis that we're going to be doing here. Before we jump to the charts analyzing the market, we are going to be doing the fundamental analysis, then the technical analysis later. What are we trading? We are not trading any currency other than the basket of six currencies. The basket of six currencies are the currencies that trade against the dollar. Whereby we have the euro, we have the Canadian dollar, we have the Japanese yen, we have the great British pound, we have the Swedish krona. It is in red. Most brokers won't give you that currency. Most brokers will not give you that currency. Then we have the Swiss, Swiss franc or the CHF. Every time the dollar buys, it is affecting the basket of six currencies. And every time it sells, the basket of six currencies are gaining strength against the dollar. Before we go any further, let me show you what we shall be doing. We are going to use all the concepts that we've learned on YouTube from the very first episode to 67 episode to analyze the market. It's going to be either a daily video or every time we have high volatility is expected in the market, we're going to be releasing a video basing on uh, the concepts we learned here. Let's start with Let's start with a uh, fundamental analysis first. This is uh, July 22nd, 2022. And we see the euro has the manufacturing data and uh, high volatility news expected at 3.30 or a half past 3 o'clock in the morning, the New York time. If you go back here, France, also has the manufacturing data. Okay, we have still the manufacturing data, the Eurozone, but again we see Germany and France. What do we do as usual? We are going to be in the market one hour ahead of time. We're going to be in the market an hour ahead of time. Now, are we selling or buying the euro? Are we selling or buying the euro? There are two things we must consider. When we go back to the basket of six currencies, if we are to trade any currency, we need to have a high volatility news release or fundamentals. We are only looking for high volatility to trade. And uh, just like I've told you, we are going to be looking at a currency that is promising high volatility. Then we analyze the market ahead of time. We publish the video on YouTube. It will work for you as a, a guide. And uh, for those that want signals, you can still analyze the market and be 85% sure of what I will show you, not 100%. So, after watching or after doing your fundamental analysis, the euro is promising high volatility. But are you going to buy or sell the euro? Will you buy or sell the euro? We will buy the euro. We are not selling the euro, we are buying the euro against the other currencies. Why are we buying the euro? Pause the video and think twice. We are buying the euro because of something that I talked about in the 
67th episode. If we navigate to the day, up, the day before today or yesterday, you see the ECB interest rates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the interest rates. The interest rates. We are not selling the euro, we are buying the euro. Basing on uh, the 67th episode, we said if the central bank decides to push its interest rates higher, they are trying to recover from inflation. And uh, what happens? That currency will buy, it will not sell. So because of this, this is my first indicator, this is my first RSI, this is my first MACD, this is my divergence, convergence, this is my indicator to go long. But we are not going long on the euro before the manipulation. Because remember, we've said that we're going to use all the concepts that we learned. Let's jump to the euro dollar. This being the euro dollar, we are expecting the dollar to the euro to buy. And uh, the dollar will have to do the opposite. We are not buying the euro before manipulation. We are buying the euro after manipulation. We need to see this currency pay a manipulate first, then it distributes. If you go back to the power of three, the accumulation, manipulation, distribution. That's what we need to see. We are not entering the market before midnight, the New York time. And uh, since we know that the, the euro is likely to be volatile at three o'clock in the morning, the New York time, we are going to look for possible ways to enter the market. We have what I would call the Asian dealing range high, or we have the sell side liquidity here, and here, and here. All this is money that smart money came to do at peak. So if you looked at these highs, and you marked them, and you're like, okay, before I see that manipulation, I want to see price first trade above these highs here. Or maybe these highs, or maybe this high. But why am I taking this high? They are relative equal, if you remember that. If you look at this, they are relative equal. What time frame am I using? Well, I'm using a three minute time frame. That's why we said use lower time frames before you enter the market. So I'm using a three minute time frame there. We have an institutional level here, we have a 20 level. But is this manipulation enough? No, this, sorry, this, this is not a manipulation. Here, this is not a manipulation. This is repricing, they are repricing. The central bank is selling what you bought before it buys from you. They are repricing here. And remember, we have a Mauli day at uh, half past uh, three o'clock in the morning. We have to be in the market one hour ahead of the news. It runs above these highs, it rejects that area. Let's look at this on a one minute chart. So on a one minute time frame, let's have a one minute time frame. On a one minute time frame, you remember this high from a three minute time frame, this high here. Now, at this time, remember, 
we want to buy the euro, but we don't want to buy the euro before manipulation. We want to buy the euro after manipulation. Price drops and drops and drops below this low. After dropping below this low, it come back up. Now, for me, if I'm to use an imbalance, I won't use an imbalance on any other time frame other than a one minute time frame on a currency pair. On a currency pair. Let me say you have this imbalance here. Let me say we have that imbalance, which I wouldn't want to concentrate on. Price comes back this candle and this one here okay one of these two you enter there you sell there price trades above you don't mind it is a uh, giving retailers a higher high higher high here okay it is giving them something like this but for your case, you're selling when retailers are buying. If it, if it is an imbalance, I'm going to use a one minute time frame. I will sell on this candle. It opens, rallies, then drops, keeps consolidating around you. At exactly 15 minutes past. 3 o'clock in the morning, 15 minutes to the news release, it drops. This is the manipulation, it's not the distribution, it is the manipulation. Why is it a manipulation? Because we are supposed to buy the euro and the euro is selling. The euro sells, the euro drops. I don't care how many pips it, it gives you here. Here it accumulates again, rallies. Okay, what is it giving some folks? It is showing them that, okay, we want to be bullish. It is showing them bullishness. So if we come back to institutional levels, what level is this? This is a 50 level. Okay, this is a 50 level. And below the 50 level, we have a smart trading entry, which is uh, the 40 level. There. You buy there. Well, most people will panic buying there because after seeing this move. But remember, after the manipulation, the euro is going to buy. If you buy there, well, it is consolidating. What time of the day? This is 47 minutes past uh, 3 o'clock. So it is a quarter to 4 o'clock in the morning. Consolidation on one, one minute time frame. Consolidation again. It keeps consolidating here. If you don't buy here, you can still buy. Now, it won't give you another chance to come back to the 50 level. Well, you can sell and buy. Why are you selling and buying? You're selling the manipulation and buying the distribution. I know it is over trading, but if you want, you can do that because no one can stop you from doing what you want to do. But again, when you buy here, trades higher, comes back again to your entry, I know you will close this trade because you're not sure. So that is midnight. Let's look at the New York Open as well. Because if the euro was manipulated like this, let's look at the dollar at the New York Open. What time of the day? We are looking at 8 o'clock in the morning. Are we buying the euro? Yes, we are buying the euro. We are not selling the euro because of the interest rates. If you haven't watched that video, go back to the 57th episode. I'm looking at what time? The New York Open, 8 o'clock in the morning. Half past 8 o'clock. 
in the morning. There. I'm also looking for institutional levels for entry. We have the 80 level right there for entry. Price opens at 8, it drops here. I will buy. I'm not selling, I will buy. I am buying the euro. I am not selling the euro. If you missed the manipulation, trust the distribution at 8 o'clock. Here, you buy here at uh, 8.40. As soon as they trade to your institutional level, that's when you're entering the market. That's why I normally tell everyone, please, have your entries on institutional levels. It's because, I know what I'm saying, you buy there, plays around for something like an hour, but at nine and a half, it buys again. Okay, it buys from here to here. So you see, drops, then buys. If the interest rates were lower, I would still sell here at 8 o'clock. But because they are high, I will buy. And the euro is still going up. So this was an introduction to what we're going to be doing, basing on uh, the six, the basket of uh, the six currencies. We're going to be analy analyzing the fundamentals then we come to the technicals and I show you what you should do. Remember, the rules are if the currency is to buy, we are not buying it before the manipulation. If it is to sell, we are not selling it before the manipulation. That is being a trader. Do not overtrade. What do I mean by overtrading? If you sold here, leave the distribution alone or if you lost here do not look, wait and look for a retail flag and a trade no retail flags don't work because they are not doing what we do they do their own stuff you are only entering the market at the manipulation and distribution. If the payer is to buy, if the currency is to buy, you're going to sell the manipulation and buy the distribution. If it is to sell, you're going to buy the manipulation and sell the distribution. This was an introduction. Just like I told you, we are going to use these currencies here to analyze the market. We're looking at fundamentals, then technicals. Then we forecast the future of the currency pair. <laughs>